Would you consider yourself a leader? A leader is an admirable position to take up. Leaders have power and they have more control over where they want things to go. People look up to leaders and while they're given more responsibilities, they often reap more of the rewards. But not every person can actually be a leader. Leadership takes skills and hard work that do not always appeal to every person working towards their goals. If you do want to step up and be a leader though, consider using some of these tips to help you stand out. Tip number one, learn from other leaders. Are there leaders that you admire? You should try to learn from them. There are plenty of books available that detail lessons from leaders throughout many industries throughout history, and the journeys that leaders take are not all fun and games. Take some time to read about the failures, the obstacles, and the challenges that your favorite leaders have faced throughout time. You may find some common lessons and experiences that will help you on your own journey to becoming a great leader. Tip number two is that it takes work to build skills. Leadership requires different skills depending on what industry you work in and what task you have at hand. Talk to leaders in your industry and learn what skills are necessary to get in the position you want to see yourself in. Then take the time to actually work and build on those skills. Leaders often have to work behind the scenes to prepare themselves for a leadership role. Even if you're not being directly praised for any education or development required to build your skills, know that this work will pay off. Tip number three is to believe that you are a leader. If you bring the energy of a leader to a group, the group will come to accept your position. Before you walk in a room, prep yourself up and tell yourself that you are a leader, that you're strong, that you're confident, and that you have the skills to take on the toughest responsibilities. People will be able to see whether or not you are a leader just by your body language, so your brain has to believe it first. If you walk into a room with your head held high and your shoulders back, it will show confidence. Proper posture is key to communicating what your position is to others. Make yourself big and maintain strong eye contact and a strong handshake when introducing yourself to others. If you come into a situation with confidence, people will naturally follow you and believe that you can take on the responsibilities. Tip number four is to take up more tasks. If you can, lend a helping hand. If another leader is delegating tasks that you know that you can excel in, you should go ahead and volunteer. If you know a leader that is really struggling to look for volunteers, go ahead and step up. The more you make yourself present in an organization or a business or a team, the more people will get to know you and that they will know that they can rely on you. Even if you take on just small tasks, Ask at first, eventually you will build up to take on more and more responsibilities. Tip number five is to share your ideas. Leaders have to be able to put a plan into place. They have to have a vision. So don't be afraid to share your ideas with your team or a group. Sharing your ideas is like equivalent to taking up tasks. The more you are present within a team or a group, the more people will turn to you. Even if you don't have a solution yourself, you can find ways that your group can come up with a solution together. Try to ask questions that gather information and lead your team towards a solution. Go ahead and write these ideas down or have someone else write them down so that you can have a document to refer later on in the future. Tip number six is to actually listen to others. Not all leaders are made with large mouths. Before and as you start to take charge, listen to the people around you. This is extremely important in leadership. How do they feel about a situation? What solutions and skills can they actually offer? If you listen to other people, you can bring their ideas to the table and connect them with opportunities. So first, in order to be a leader, you will need people to be able to follow you. While some leaders can lead through fear and intimidation, you will get much further if your team truly believes that they can benefit from following your lead. Show them that they can benefit from you by providing them with responsibilities, opportunity, and positive validation. Tip number seven is to learn how to delegate. Leading is not equipped to taking on every single task. In order to get more things done and make your team feel valued, you need to learn how to delegate tasks. Delegation requires planning and considering the skills of everyone on your team. It also requires the trust that someone else can do something equally or even better than you can. And that also means humility. Once you've gathered a list of tasks that needs to get done for a project to happen, see what you can assign to other people and who can actually do it in the best manner possible. Always accept help from your team if they offer it, but be sure to follow up with the people who have taken on each task. Also, something you should know is that sometimes people require training during the delegation process. As an entrepreneur myself, sometimes it's much easier to spend eight hours training someone how to do something the right way than spending an hour each day fixing their mistakes for a whole year. Tip number eight is to treat other leaders with respect. You might not be the only person trying to lead in your organization. In fact, you may be working with someone who is an assigned leader, so you should be respectful of the positions that everyone on your team has, even if you think that you could do a better job. Many leaders earned their position without boasting or bragging about the work that they have done to establish that kind of leadership. So don't undercut someone else's skills or their achievements just because you want to be a bigger leader. If you're not already a leader, you should be patient, share your ideas, and step up when it's appropriate, and then eventually wait for a position to open up for you to become a leader. And the last tip I have- Thank you and see you next video.